Okay. Let's get started. So, what we're going to do now, uh, as I said, we're going to look at an indirect titration. Okay, a calculation from beginning to end. If you remember what I did from the previous uh, videos, we said that an indirect has an excess, not an excess, but we work on a product. There's our product in this case, and we titrate the product to work back to the initial chem compound that we're after. So it doesn't involve reagents, okay? A back titration involves reagents, an indirect titration involves titrating the products, okay? It doesn't matter, like I said at the end of the day, uh, because calculation is similar. It's always going to be sort of along the same lines. All right, now, where do we start? Well, we've got to set the question up first, and you have to read it carefully. This is our sample question from the text. So what it says is, we've got a sample of bleach. Bleach is containing sodium hypochlorite. That's the hypochlorite ion. First thing we've got to take note of, and we won't use this right until the end, is that the bleach was diluted 10 in 100. Okay, so it was diluted by a factor of 10. Times 10. No, no. All we need to know is that whatever we, we work out as being the concentration of the hypochlorite at the end of our calculation, we have to multiply that by 10 to get the concentration in the original sample before we diluted it. I'll say that again. So, you have to really read the question carefully. The first part of the actual step in this question was they took 10 mils of the original sample of bleach, they diluted it by putting 10 mils into 100. That would have been delivered by a what? What do you reckon? What would they use to get an accurate volume of the bleach? A volumetric pipette, pipette most likely. 10 mils, okay, and that would have been a 100 mil volumetric glass. I told you the answer, okay. So, just so you know what we're talking about, so they would have, uh, they would have done their dilution. That's small. Yeah, this is a 100 mil flask, okay. So they would have taken 10 mil, because it had to be accurate, remember, we're talking about chemical analysis, it's quantitative. So they've taken 10 mils original, put it into here, made it up to the volume, and then they've actually started to work with this. Now, nothing else really matters. They took 20 mils of that. They reacted it with an excess of potassium iodide. All done. And then that produced iodine as a product. And it was the iodine that they took into the second step to do the titration. So this is one of the products producing that first reaction and as I've said before this is the titration step that's where we actually do the titration okay they didn't titrate the hypochlorite direct they could have they could have had a known acid and done it but they've chosen to look at the iodine right instead anyway where do we start with these well we always start with the titration step don't we always so we're going to start, all right? Uh, we're going to start in equation two. So we don't know what to do. It's always going to do this. It's going to go from here to here to here to here, and then a bit of a calculation to get the concentration of percent weight by volume. It's always the same. Okay. So titration. Work out the uh, concentration or the moles of either a reagent or a product in the first equation, use that to work out the moles of whatever we're talking about, and then do your, do your thing with whatever's left over. Okay. okay? All right, let's work it out. And I'm gonna need you to have your calculators ready because you're good at it. All right, so we wanna work out for this, we wanna work out the moles of the S2O3 uh, in equation number two. And again, it will be N equals C times by B. We know the concentration is 0.0500, 0 
the volume will be 24.5 over 1,000. And what do we get? 0 0.001225. 0 0.001225. All right. Thanks, Harry, brother of William. Okay, next one. So we now know the moles that we used on the thiosulfate in the titration. Number two is mole ratio. So we're going to use the mole ratio of the S2O3 to the I2. And I'll just highlight again equation number two so we know where we are. The ratio is two is to one. Okay, for that. Therefore, the moles of the iodine must be equal to, two is to one, it must be 0 0.001225 over two. So what do we get? 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0,
two, five miles per litre. Majority wins. Okay. So that's the actual concentration, I'll put it in square brackets, of the hypochlorite DIL, the dilute. That's the dilute version. Okay. Alright? Now, I'm just going to move over here again. So, we've worked out the concentration of the dilute um, bleach, sodium hypochlorite. Just by using C is N over V. We had 20 mils of the diluted version. Oh, okay. Just, it's just like a normal calculation for a titration. So now we can work out the actual concentration of the hypochlorite must be 0 0.0306 two five times by ten. So it must be 0 0.30625 moles litre to the minus one. That's the actual concentration of the undiluted here in the 10 mil sample. So we're now almost there. But we have to go from we've got to go from moles per litre to the minus one to grams per litre to the minus one then to percent weight by volume, which is grams per 100 mil. Go back to that. Times by what? Yeah. Times by molecular weight and then divide it by 10. Now, what do we use for the molecular weight then? No. If you read the question carefully, it says sodium hypochlorite. So you've got to use NaOCl for the molecular weight. Why? Luke said, why is the sodium included in any of this? Because the sodium is a spectator ion. Oh. The sodium doesn't do anything in the reaction. Going back to year 11, we spoke about spectator ions. They just look at what's going on in a reaction. Okay? They don't do anything. Uh, if I asked you last year to do an ionic equation, you would have got rid of all the things that were not part of a... Maybe I was dreaming that I did it with you. Okay. Okay. So, where are we? We're up. We're here. What's the molecular weight, formula weight of sodium hypochlorite? We need that to do the calculation. One sodium, one oxygen, one chlorine. So why does it want us to use that instead of the Because that's, we, we can't just say OCL minus, because this is the actual bleach, that's the formula for bleach. Okay. So, we're going to take this, it'll be 0. 30625 times by what is the molecular weight? 74.422. 74.422. Thanks, Harry. So, what does that make? 4422, sir. Grams per weight. What is it? 4422. 4422. Okay. So, what does that make? The answer in grams per litre. Just one two. 79 seven, nine, seven, nine, grams per litre. Now we divide that by 10 and we've got our answer. 2.27979 percent weight by volume. And of course, we can go right back and how many sig fig? Looks like three. We could then now we do our sig fig at the end. We don't do it until we get right to the end. But we haven't worried about sig fig for these calculations yet. Okay. It is a mild concept, that's why we say holy mold. Okay? Alright. So, the point is, when you're doing the questions, as I've always said, the key is, write 
under the equations what's happening. Write all the stuff that you're given from the question. Because there's a whole lot. I've got to read a paragraph and I've got to drag all this stuff out. It's much easier because I'm a visual learner. I like to see stuff. Okay? Once you've done that, you can see, hopefully, you should be saying it's the same calculation as we did in the previous two. You start from the second equation. You work out the moles the of the, the standard. Equations. That to work out the moles of this. Sometimes that's in excess, sometimes it's just the product. You go back to the first equation. Sometimes you're in product, sometimes you're in the reactant. Mole ratio, back to the first chemical, and then you can do whatever you need to for the first chemical. You can work out the moles of the first chemical, the concentration of the first chemical, the mass of the first chemical, anything that you need. Okay? Now, I didn't say it was uh, easy. I didn't say it was easy. Okay, but it will take practice.